Immucor, the global leader in transfusion diagnostics, introduces our latest innovation. NEO is Immucor's fourth generation fully automated instrument for blood bank and the next generation of instrumentation in the high volume segment of our scalable solutions. NEO gives your laboratory the ability to achieve exceptional performance power, enhanced speed, and unprecedented flexibility. NEO delivers a patient type and screen result in as little as 30 minutes or a high throughput of 185 pooled screens per hour. With the broadest immunohematology test menu on the market, this instrument will optimize your lab's workflow and operational efficiencies by fully automating more of your work with trusted technologies that provide quality test results. Let's get started with a tour of the instrument. I'll provide a brief hardware tour of NEO and we'll also simulate test scheduling to demonstrate how our new stat priority and optimized scheduler works. NEO is a floor model instrument. Everything is self-contained on the NEO card, including system fluidics. The only extra component is NEO's printer, which can sit next to the instrument on a workbench or on the floor. NEO is comprised of seven hardware modules. Each module works independently and simultaneously to process your workflow in the most efficient manner. In the front of the NEO, you can see the reagent and sample loading bays. Using linear racks which hold up to 16 samples each, NEO has the capacity to load up to 224 samples at one time. By using linear racks, the operator has continuous access to loading and unloading samples. The linear rack contains positional barcodes, which the NEO reads in tandem with the sample and reagent barcodes. Immucor reagents all feature barcodes and can be placed in any position on the reagent rack. Each reagent barcode contains the reagent type, lot number, expiration date, and a unique serial number for every vial, so that NEO can maintain an inventory of onboard reagent volumes. This gives us true positive ID and immediately tells NEO what samples or reagents are loaded in what position. NEO features real-time barcode read, so the instrument is actually reading the barcodes as you slide the rack into the loading bay. LEDs allow the operator to determine which lanes are available for adding or removing a linear rack. A green light means that the lane position is available for use. An orange light means that a rack has been loaded, but no tests have been requested for those samples yet, so you can either leave it on board and request testing or remove it. A red light means that the pipetter is currently aspirating samples or reagents from that rack. Think of the LEDs as a traffic light to guide you. Green means go, red means stop, and orange means you make the call. This translates into a simplistic user interface. NEO features two arms for pipetting. There are also two pipetting stations. The left arm pipettes samples and it has four probes. The right arm pipettes reagents and it has a single probe. By using two arms and two pipetting stations, we can pipette multiple plates at one time, greatly enhancing the productivity and turnaround time for every test run. NEO's probes feature liquid level and clot detection. The pipetter module also features an automated pipetter self-check test, which automatically qualifies the performance of the pipetter as part of daily maintenance. To the left of the pipetter is NEO's microplate loading tower. NEO has onboard capacity for 15 microplates. Because Immucor uses two technologies on NEO, captures solid phase and hemagglutination, various types of plates can be loaded, and NEO will know exactly what inventory it has on board via the microplates barcode. The microplate loading tower features LEDs to guide the operator in resource management. Behind the pipetter, there are 15 slotted doors. This is NEO's incubator module. There are 15 separate incubators. Eight incubators are maintained at 37 degrees Celsius. Six are at ambient temperature, and one is a buffer position to maintain the integrity between the two temperature zones. Because NEO can accommodate up to 15 microplates at one time, and incubation is the longest step in the test process, we match the number of incubation bays to the microplate tower capacity. We design NEO so that there are no bottlenecks throughout the testing process. To the left of the microplate loading tower is the automated plate washer used for capture assays. NEO's washer is one syringe pump and features automated aspirate and dispense verification, which ensure that each wash step is performed correctly. To the left of the washer is the centrifuge module. 
This is a plate-based centrifuge with the capability to spin full or partial microplates. The centrifuge is self-balancing and also features a shake mechanism for resuspending hemagglutination reactions. All of the centrifugation times on the NEO are less than two minutes, contributing to our quick turnaround time. Behind the microplate loading tower is NEO's reader. The reader is utilized to check plates prior to testing for process control steps such as color verification checks and for reading results. We use two CCD cameras on the NEO. They take digital photographs of the microplate to use for interpretation. By interpreting the pixels of the well reactions, NEO makes an interpretation. We call this an image analysis reader. Finally, let's take a look underneath the instrument. The instrument cart holds all of NEO's fluidics. NEO's system liquid container houses PBS, the only system liquid that runs on NEO. No special diluents are necessary. NEO also has the option to load a 20 liter cube of saline on board instead of filling the system liquid container. In the middle, you'll see the waste container. Waste can either be shuttled off the NEO using a shuttle container or you can use a floor drain for direct waste drainage. All fluidics can be filled or emptied at any time without stopping or interrupting test processing. Again, this is true continuous access giving you the highest level of productivity. NEO's card also houses the instrument computer, which has a DVD drive for archiving test results and a UPS for backup power supply.